Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Second Battle of Donaldsonville, located in Ascension Parish, Louisiana, between Union General Nathaniel Banks, defending garrison, and the Confederate Generals Alfred Mouton and Thomas Green, and the 325 men comprising of the attacking forces on the 28th of June, 1863. The Confederacy shifted their focus to try and slow the Union campaign by attacking Union supply facilities. Confederate General Taylor asked Confederate Brigadier Generals Alfred Mouton and Thomas Green to burn the Union Supply Depot at Brashear City. This was the source of Union supplies for General Nathaniel Banks' forces. The attack went far better than anyone anticipated. The 325 men were able to take the city with very little violence and capture 700 Union soldiers along with the entirety of the supplies of the city. General Taylor saw this and decided to press forward, first by cutting off communication between Union General Banks and New Orleans, and in order to do this, he tasked three columns of troops to attack the Union forces at Donaldsonville, resulting in the second battle at that city. The attack occurred where the Mississippi and Bayou Laforge met. There, Confederate General Taylor's forces were able to surround Fort Butler after midnight on the 28th of June. The Confederates, however, were stopped by the same thing many armies for thousands of years were stopped by, a large moat. This time, it was a large ditch that that the Union had dug around the fort. In addition, the Union forces in the fort called upon Union gunboat the Princess Royal, who shelled the attacking Confederate forces, devastating the Confederate troops and pushing them back. Eventually, the Confederates were successful. The attack forced Union General Nathaniel Banks to lift the siege of Port Hudson, but by this point, it was too late to help the Confederate Army overall. Casualties for the Union were minor, with a total of 23 men killed, wounded, or missing. The Confederates, however, were savaged by the Union gunship Princess Royal, and they lost 301 men killed, wounded, missing, or captured. Today in the news of the day, we noted an article in the September 30th issue of the Daily True Delta that an old man by the name of Pierre Rigaud, a resident of Donaldsonville, had been tried by the provost court on the charge of acting as a spy and guide for the Confederate troops during the attack. The story that came out and was verified by Pierre's neighbor, a Mr. Saw seen template, what he saw was Pierre trying to get his 16-year-old son named Adolphe Auguste Rigaud, a private in the Donaldson Artillery, a Confederate unit, to quit service with the Confederate Army. Adolphe had gone off and joined the Confederate Army against Pierre's will, and as a result of what the Confederates deemed interference, they arrested Pierre as the father and forced him to act as their guide. Pierre was found not guilty by the court and discharged from custody. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. 